There are a few reasons why the pharmaceutical industry and biotechnology industries are not participating in new drug development, let's say for parasitic diseases. It's a very risky endeavor. High investment, high risk of failure, and a very low ability to pay. The discussions inside Clear about the blind application was that this was the coolest thing that we could do with our technology. Our board members sympathized with the enthusiasm that we felt, but the question they asked was how big is the market? And we said, well, we think it's under a million dollars a year. And they said, you know, we'd love to do it, but a million dollars doesn't relate all that closely to our $25 million investment in your firm. Everything that we do, we only choose to do if there's a market failure, and we, we hope that by our example, we can um, create a competitive landscape that addresses that market failure. We have really taken off on a social entrepreneur theme. Uh, we claim it for ourselves. We're very proud. And we spend as much time as we can encouraging other social entrepreneurial ventures uh, within product R&D. Being part of that community has some huge benefits. The first time I tried to raise money for Arkenstone to expand, none of the big foundations wanted to talk to me. I looked too much like a business. Now I can say, hey, I'm part of a movement, and you funded some other members of the movement, well, I'm one of them too. There are many people who are doing it where you would say, how, how could they possibly? And it comes from so deep inside. They have to do it.